Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to Banding, Panning and Beyond. Today I'm bringing you another tag video. So this one is the eyeshadow singles lover tag and I was tagged by Erica aka Spooky Squid and the tag was actually created by a lady called Unky. So I will link both of those in the um, description box. So I'm going to try and make this a, a quick video, um, trying to fit it in, you know, with everyone else coming in and out of the house. So I'm just going to um, get basically uh, straight into it. So the first question is, when did you fall in love with single shadows? So um, I probably started collecting them earlier than this, but to say when did I start falling in love with them? I would say probably um, 2018 was when I really started paying attention and expanding my collection. Um, I'm still probably more of a, a palette person, um, but yeah, I, I think that's once I started um, discovering indie brands and really... Um, <sighs> I'd say became aware of the duochromes. Um, that's when I really um, started, um, yeah, tending towards buying more um, of single shadows. Um, number two is what is the oldest brand of single shadows in your collection? So I would have to hazard a guess at this one. I would say that it would be ColourPop, uh, which was probably around 2017. I'd say that I started. Um, buying single shadows from them. Um, number three, what are your go-to single shadows? Probably the ones that I reach for the most would be Davina. Um, yeah, I, I'd have to say uh, Davina for that one. And just thinking, I've I've got I've got. A lot of my palettes of, of sing mm, that's not it um, like a magnetic palettes with all my singles I've got them all sort of next to me so um, just to show you what sort of range I have in my Davina shadows so that's those ones um, there and see Obviously the lighting, depending on the angle, you see the colour that comes out in them. I've also got a few that are um, down in here and I've got two of the bigger highlighter um, ones as well. And I do have a few more um, on their way from their la uh, latest release. Um, that has gotten like he super, super quick. Uh, I know that it's arrived in the country, so hopefully I'll get that um, sort of within the next few days. Uh, so number four, do you have a more colourful or neutral slash browns in your collection? Um, I would have to say when it comes to singles, definitely um, colourful, uh, with the exception of my Colourpop ones. I do tend to go um, more for the colour, sort of for the wow for like the um, lid colors um, so yeah definitely I would go for that I have more colorful um, okay so number five is your favorite matte formula so for this one I couldn't choose uh, probably the theme of the whole video um, so the two that I settled on as far as like because said mainly when with my when it comes to my singles I go for um, shimmers um, like topper shades and duochromes and multichromes metallics that sort of thing but these two brands I actually do have a good portion of mattes in them and that would be menagerie um, which is you can see there's quite a, a number of um, mattes there in that palette um, and then the other one would be lethal cosmetics so there's quite a few mattes in um, there as well and both of these are just beautiful uh, formulas um, to work with they just blend out so so well um, so yeah definitely 
as far as what I have tried, um, I would say those are the two brands um, that have the best mattes. Um, I do have a few other mattes from a few other um, brands um, in singles, but um, not many. Um, favorite metallic formula. Uh, again, like I said, you know, it's really, really difficult to choose. Um, but as far as metallics go, I would have to say that maybe JD Glow. I'm trying to pick a few different brands here that I don't just keep going for the same ones. So yeah, I'll, I'll stick with JD Glow. Although I will need a shout out to, um, none of you would have seen these yet because I haven't actually done an entries video, but I just got these from Glaminatrix. I have to say the formula on those are actually really, really good too. I haven't used them on the eye yet though. So, um, yeah, uh, definitely keen to sort of dip into those and, and see how they perform. Um, my favorite duo and multi-chrome formula, uh, I have quite a few nice multi-chromes from different brands, um, but I would have to say I'd I'd have to pick Cleona um, when it comes to the multi-chromes. Duo chromes, I said, you know, Davina could pop in here. Um, just trying to have a look at all the different brands that I've got. But, yeah, I think... I think I'll stick with Davina for that one as well. Um, what else have we got here? Number eight. What brand slash brands is on your single shadow wish list? So, which brand isn't? Um, but probably to say the two that I have um, pending carts with at the moment. Um, would be M Cosmetics, as in E double M E um, Cosmetics, and also um, Touch of Glam. Uh, have never bought from either of those companies before, um, so right now I'm just building a cart, and of course, the it's they're both huge, and uh, I think um, M Cosmetics is um, closed at the moment, but will be reopening, I believe, on the 16th of October. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Um, so then number nine, do you have any single shadow regrets? Uh, the answer to that is yes. So I'll show you what my regret is. My regret is that. So these are all Colourpop singles, all very, very neutral. Uh, I really don't need that many. Uh, I started getting these when I was basically only doing um, neutral eye looks where I completely avoided colour. I have added, um, so you can see, sorry, I'll just fold down that plastic divider. So those are the colours that I've got from Colourpop. So. Yeah, so, uh, but I have to say, in all honesty, I don't think I would ever buy any more Colourpop singles ever again now that I've discovered indie brands. So, um, honestly, I think if somebody removed this from my collection today, I wouldn't replace any of them um, and I wouldn't really miss any of them. So, um, final question, number 10, if you could only buy single shadows from one brand for the rest of your life, who would it be? This is a hard question because I haven't tried a lot of the singles that I've got in my collection because I tend to still go um, for my palettes mainly. Um, so I can't say that I'm super familiar with the formulas of some of the ones that I've got. Um, but based on the ones that I do reach for, um, and I've, I think it kind of goes in hand where it says, oh, like, what are your go-to single shadows? 
Um, I guess you could answer that in regards. I answered it as a, a brand. Um, number three could have been p particular individual shadows and I didn't read it that way. But um, so I guess I've kind of already answered number 10 that uh, because Davina are the ones that I reach for the most, even though I absolutely love Cleona. Um, I do reach mainly for Davina. So I think that, yeah, if I was completely limited to just one brand, um, it would have to be Davina Cosmetics. So, uh, so that's it as far as the questions go. Um, I get to tag other people now. So I'm not going to tag as many people as I did in the last one, only because I don't really know too many people who are really into um, singles. Uh, so if you're sitting there watching this and you're wondering if I'm going to tag you um, and I don't, then, you know, please feel free uh, to do it um, anyway. It's only because, like I said, I'm not familiar with um, whether or not you have a lot of singles in your collection. But um, the one person I know for sure that has lots of singles is Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock. So I'm tagging you again, Andrea. Uh, so I hope that you will do um, this tag. And the other person I wanted to tag um, who isn't on YouTube is Siobhan because I know she's got stack loads of singles. Um, she's probably more of a singles person than um, palettes. So um, I'm hoping Siobhan that um, you might be keen to do this and that you could do it on Instagram. So uh, you do your own version. So uh, yeah, um, of course, totally up to you. So um, and anyone else who wants to do it, let me know in the comments if, if you have the intention and I'll make sure I keep an eye out um, for your video. So uh, just a quick one, like I said, uh, and um, thanks again to Erica for tagging me. And yeah, I'm going to get going now because my husband's just gotten home. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.